Do you intend to get married at some point? I don't really care if I do or not. Um, I think it would be nice. At some time it would be nice to have a family. I guess I feel secure enough in myself that if I would never get married, um, that it wouldn't ruin my life or I, I wouldn't consider myself a failure. Uh, if I ever do get married, I'd like to feel that I was marrying for love, not out of necessity or not just because it's something that I ought to do. But I, I enjoy men. I enjoy meeting men. And, uh, and so I guess I have a lot of short-term relationships or just friendships. And that's, that's sufficient for me. Um, I know women, though, that are very single women who are, you know, who are very frustrated just living here because they would like to, to find the right person, settle down in the area, and, um, and the availability of single men is is just limited. It depends on the age group too. Like, I'm I'm 26. I'll be 27 this month. So I'm getting up there as far as age, as far as being. I'm not considered young anymore <laughs> in this area. Young is maybe 21. 22. What happened um, if you're gay in Glencoe? You don't tell anyone. <laughs> um, you probably don't make a pass at anyone. Yeah, I, don't, I think you'd probably have to carry out your private life in Minneapolis or someplace if you were going to live in a small town. It's not, it, it wouldn't be accepted. I mean, that's one area that that there's a lot of prejudice against. It's a lot of jokes made about homosexuality. Um, people don't want, people don't want to talk about it. So it'd be very difficult for someone to live, a, a gay person to live openly here. Do you find men very macho here? Yeah. <laughs>